Hey, 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 Sagittarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your November 4th to the 5th intuitive love tarot read. Let's see what's up for my Saggy friends here. <clears throat> for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. For those who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Don't forget to drop a like below, share, and subscribe before you leave. Okay, well, we got a lot of cards that came out first. We had the Eight of Pentacles. This is your energy in relation to love, Sagis. The Three of Wands, the Moon card, the Two of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Some of you could be waiting for somebody, possibly to leave a love relationship. And this has put you sort of <clears throat> in a conundrum, to say the least, with this Two of Swords energy. You're not sure whether to block your heart off or to keep it open because you're not sure if this person will actually be coming. Now, whether this person is with somebody, for some of you, or for some of you, they are at a distance and you're waiting for them to come. For those of you... <clears throat> who are waiting for somebody that's with somebody. These are the people that are blocking off their heart chakra right now. Because you don't want any love offers to come in while you're waiting. It's like you're so focused on, you know, this particular person coming in <clears throat> that you're not opening up. And there's some... There's also something you're not seeing about this situation, and this is throwing you off balance. And this, this moon card here, this is a relationship some of you are hiding. And it, for some of you, I'm getting a lot of different stories here. For some of you, you could have met this person via work. But you have a lot of love for this person. <clears throat> and a promise of a new beginning in love was made from them. So let's see. Let's see what's coming towards you. Who's walking into Sagittarius's life? Ah, wow. We've got the High Priest, which is the Hierophant in the Rider Waite Tarot. And we've also got the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, both Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they're both fives. Fives are change. Three fives are expect the unexpected. You've got two here. This is interesting because the Hierophant talks about commitment talks about marriage, talks about spiritual connection. Five of Pentacles is feeling of abandonment, feeling of lack. And I'm, <clears throat> this is what you're feeling, waiting. This person that's coming toward you, I am feeling, wants to have a commitment with you, Sagittarius. They could be a Taurus. And you do have a spiritual connection with this person. You you want to work on this relationship. And I feel like for some of you, it's been difficult. It's been challenging. It's been challenging. Because you think this person is hiding things. And at times you want to turn your back. At other times you don't. So there's a conflict within you. And this is where this lack, I feel, comes in. But see, this person that's coming toward you also feels this lack. I feel this Five of Pentacles coming from both of you. And it is possible because if they're at a distance, that could be the reason. Let me clarify this Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for this person coming towards Sagis. Clarify this Five of Pentacles for this person. Why are they feeling this way? Why are they feeling left out in the cold? Ah, 
the wheel of fortune because they want this wheel to start turning again. Tens are all about endings and beginnings. They want to like hurry up and get going on this, but something is stopping this wheel. Oh, I was going to say, what's holding this wheel up? A decision. Two of Pentacles. Somebody's decision. This person's decision. Hmm. Yeah, they just pointed out this key. They said they hold the key. They hold the key to this whole connection. It lies in their hands, literally. Literally lies in their hands. Okay, so how do you respond to this? How do you respond to this? This decision could be about two individuals, the high priestess. This could be a twin connection. Gemini Pisces card for me as a reader, but you are going to use your intuition on this one. You're going to use your intuition. So how does this change your energy? This waiting. This, how does this change your energy? And are you going to continue to wait? Whoops. Ugh. Really? I just saw the hangman, which is waiting. How does this change Sagittarius' energy? Ah, Eight of Cups. You may decide to walk away for some of you. Seven of Swords. This is their, how their energy changes. Huh. Okay. So you decide to walk away and they get sneaky. All right. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Now we're going to dig. That's it. I've had it, Sadie. We're going to dig. Seven of Swords. They got, clarifying the Seven of Swords is the Six of Swords, which is going away from what no longer serves them. Okay, I feel like you walk away and then now they're coming towards you. Hmm. Clarify the Seven of Swords again. I think there's more to the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Can Sagis even trust this person? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, five of wands. See, they're coming towards you, but they're bringing with them conflict, possible competition. Could have to do with this decision, right? Right here, it's a decision between two people, but, and that's another five. Expect the unexpected. Now you've got three fives. Expect the unexpected, Sagittarius. And no, I wouldn't trust them. I wouldn't trust them. How do you respond? Let's see what you do. Because you'll walk away and they're going to try to come back. They're going to try to come back. What is Sagittarius going to do? What is Sagittarius going to do? And you were right. See, your intuition told you. <laughs> this moon guard. What is Sagittarius going to do? Yep, Queen of Swords. You're going to cut them out. Off with their head. Off with their head, Sagittarius. That's what you're going to do? You're going to cut them out. Okay. All right. I'm pushing this energy to the side. What's ahead after this for Sagittarius? Anything new coming for Sagittarius after this episode? After this debacle? What's coming ahead for Sagittarius in the future after this? Is there anything for Sagittarius? What can you tell me about Sagittarius? Jeez, they don't want to tell me anything. What can you tell me for the future after this, this one? Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like a new adventure. I don't think they're going to give any specifics because the Page of Wands is like this exciting new... Um, venture awaits that's what i'm feeling like okay i believe you you have to heal from this and while you're healing from this you're looking out into the future and you're you're envisioning what you want what you want in love after this right well sagittarius i hope this resonated or not 
Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't before you leave. Comment, let me know if this is your story. I do want to hear from you guys. I love interacting with you. So you guys have a great day. Don't forget to check out your monthlies already up on my YouTube page and the playlist. And I will talk to you tomorrow.